If you are a nurse or an affiliated health professional working in a setting where endocyanine green is being used during laparoscopic cholecystectomy, there are six things you need to know. The first thing you need to know is that although complications are rare during lap coli, the consequences can be significant. It's estimated that between four and 7,000 patients per year suffer a bile duct injury during this routine procedure. In fact, injuries during a lap coli are among the leading sources of medical malpractice claims against general surgeons. The second thing you need to know is that fluorescent guided surgery using ICG makes a difference. Clinical studies have shown that visualization of important anatomical structures is significantly improved by utilizing ICG. Some have called it the GPS of surgery. The number three item is understanding how ICG works in the body. After IV administration, ICG rapidly binds to proteins in the patient's blood and will circulate through the entire body in about 30 to 60 seconds. When imaged with an infrared system, any tissue that is well perfused will fluoresce or glow. After about 45 minutes, the liver clears the ICG into the bile. At this point, the biliary structures will brightly fluoresce under infrared light. Understanding that ICG needs to be administered well before the procedure begins is the fourth thing you need to know. ICG is usually administered in the pre-op holding area 30 to 45 minutes before the procedure to allow the dye to travel to the biliary tree. A 2.5 milligram dose followed by a 10 ml normal saline flush is routine, but this may vary by surgeon preference. Number five on the list is the need for specialized imaging equipment to be available in the OR. Fluorescence guided surgery requires an infrared compatible light source and cable and an infrared capable camera. These are becoming much more routine in the operating room today. The last and maybe the most important thing to know is that endocyanine green is safe. ICG was approved by the FDA in 1959 and has been used extensively in cardiology, hepatology, and ophthalmology. Today, with advancements in infrared imaging equipment in the OR, fluorescence guided surgery is routinely performed in a wide variety of procedures. To learn more about fluorescence guided surgery during laparoscopic cholecystectomy and other applications using ICG, please visit the International Society for Fluorescence Guided Surgery at isfgs.org.